Yeah, yeah. So this one won't, will be a quick one because um, we've covered this a couple of times in the past. So basically NVIDIA's RTX Remix, um, it's like a software or mod tool for PC gaming, is now in open beta, which means anybody can download it. So what it is is that it uses um, NVIDIA Omniverse. So basically any modder can inject a DirectX 8 or 9 title uh, title. And then it basically um, allows you to basically remaster the game um, by, like, you know, doing things like changing the lighting, make sure everything's like physically based rendering or PBR, which is essentially like, you know, so textures react to light. So, like, old games used tricks and stuff like that. Mm. And so, like, it's a full modding suite. And so now in open beta means like the floodgates are going to be open because we've seen what can be done with RTX Remix. The first example was NVIDIA's own internal RTX Remix project, which was Portal RTX, which made it fully path traced. Yeah. And they changed all the assets and upgraded models, which you can, which this allows you to do. Um, or you can use like AI to upscale textures and, and add depth to things. So like they showed that off and it looked, and you know, it's like to get, it's a game changer. Yeah. It like brings systems to its knees, but like portal with full path trace lighting, which is like 100% ray tracing for absolutely everything, mm. looks insane. And so then after that, they got a team of modders to do like a portal prequel, which was like a, like a fan project, which looked just as good. And then most recently, they announced that there's a new studio of modders um, called Orbifold Studios working on Half-Life 2 RTX, an RTX Remix project, and that uses RTX Remix. And you can see already in like the videos just how incredible that looks. Yeah, I'm looking at so it So basically it's a mixture of like they're using like AI to upscale textures. Um, it adds RTX, so ray tracing and path tracing. They're replacing models with highly detailed updates. So it's basically... <clears throat> powerful enough for you to remake a game at the level of like you know what Capcom is kind of doing with <clears throat> with like the Resident, Resident Evil. Evil yeah yeah obviously a little bit different but like you know the visual jump is almost is basically at that level yeah. and so with it in open beta um, if you open there's a link in our article for like the mod DB page for um, RTX Remix and you can see like these are the games that people are working on right to mod doom 3 battlefield 2 fallout 3 the original stalker far cry max Payne, thief 2 call of duty 4 half-life 2 as we've discussed wolfenstein enemy territory quake 2 oh. left 4 dead 2 do you understand like this is what's happening like people yeah. <laughs> using rtx remix to like that are, they, so like the next like it's not instant it's not like press one button and the game is remastered right but it makes the process so much easier. Age of Mythology. Star Wars Episode One Racer. Holy moly. <laughs> Age of <laughs> Mythology, Costa? Yeah. I'm going to get lost in that game again. So the next, like, you know, give it like six months, whatever the case is. But like the second half of this year and next year, you're going to see so many like RTX Remix things. Like we've already seen like there was like a Max Payne one where somebody just would basically just use the AI upscaling and just the internal tools. And it looks like, you know, heaps better already. They need to do Metal it. Gear Solid, but I'm pretty sure that's already getting a remaster, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's Tomb Raider, the original Tomb Raider. Yes, yes. Oh my God, Battlefield 2, two man. Oh. Batman Arkham Asylum, Morrowind, Jedi Academy. I mean, this is like listing, like listing... These are classics. The greatest PC games for the last 20 years, right? Yeah. Whatever the case is. Imagine like fully path traced and then people can go in and change models. It's... Like what it what it's capable of and how how it opens up those tools for developers is incredible, right? Mm. And it's just gonna yeah, it's gonna change PC modding, game modding. I think it's gonna revive classic titles like all of the titles that you just listed. If Mount Rushmore had twenty different heads on top of it, those yeah. games would be in the. <laughs> Mount Rushmore of titles like Stalker, man. That is, I haven't yeah. heard that in that name for so long, but I played that game so much, so much growing up. Um, so many yeah. classics, yeah. It's going to be. I'm going to replay so amazing. many old games. Mm, same. Oh, like, I replayed through like Portal RTX and the prequel, and like, so good. 
Yeah. Like they just felt like you're playing like brand new remakes and then you figure out, then you find out like how they did it. It's like, because RTX Remix is so powerful, right? So basically you've got at its most basic level, it can, you know, change, dra- dramatically change the lining in a game to make it ray traced and you can uh, upscale all the textures and things like bricks and stuff become, you know, have depth and stuff like that, lighting, shadow and everything just looks so much better yeah. and it can do that. But, you know, take the next step. Let's say you brought in like a team of like, you know, half a dozen 3D modelers and artists, right? And you don't have to have like a huge massive team. You can then replace in-game models. So character model, you can create like a new higher quality version. Yeah. Whack it in there. You can put in your own textures. You can like, you know what I mean? Like there's there's levels of it. So that's, that's how you get to like almost like remake level. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm just thinking of all of the little units in Age of Mythology all just being HD, like yeah. full full resolution, even like 4K. Oh man, Age of Mythology with ray tracing. I don't even know how that mm. would work, but I want it. It'll work. <laughs> I want it. It's like, well, where's yeah. the light got to be? It, like, you know what I mean? Like it's a top down kind of thing, but I, I don't care. I still want it. I still, I just want to see Age of Mythology ray tracing. <laughs> and I'll be like, okay, click, 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 click. Mm. <laughs> and that like isn't a requirement but like you know because it's nvidia based those are just easily just inbuilt so you've got ray tracing you've got dlss you got frame gen all those you know in the new ray reconstruction all of that tech is just out there and like you know like in the portal rtx the very first thing i you know, like rtx remix has its own overlay mm. and so like you know it's like whatever control zero or control one whatever to bring it up and there you just have like you know turn on DLSS at so the quality level turn on like frame gen blah 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 you can just like you know like you just tick them all on and off like that so it like has its own overlay so you don't um, so you're like you know like you've got the game menu and the classic game running but then you have that the remix shit happening on top yeah so cool I want and this and I know this probably will never happen and it's sad that it won't but the first video game I ever played was Jack and Daxter, and my mum oh, bought it. You're my mum bought it for me. <laughs> um, mm. No, that sorry, that's that's a lie. That's my first console game that I ever played because I had an old compact PC and I was playing Age of Empires, like the the first one that came yep. out. That was the first video game that I actually sat down and played. Um, but the, I got a PS2, and mum bought jack and daxter because it's spelled the same way that i spell my name just j-a-k and she's like oh okay i'll play that oh. i would love if naughty dog just let the pc modding community remake jack and daxter with rtx or like even the old ratchet and clank games and dude yeah like this would be um potentially like this would be like the gray area or crossing the line because this technology, if applied to emulation, mm. like would just be like transformative. So like you could just like plug in like an old, you know, like old emulators which deconstruct these games. So like the way an emulator works, like to emulate PS2 games on PC and you can emulate them, you know, triple the resolution or whatever the case is. And then you can apply texture filtering and all sorts of stuff. You can even like replace textures in some of them as well. Like yeah. you go deep into the emulation scene. Right, um, but those emulators are doing what this RTX Remix kind of does. Like it breaks down how the game code works, so it, so it, you know, and then it rebuilds it to run on a PC. You know, to em- basically to to make and you know, like sometimes the emulation it doesn't really work. You know, sometimes it's a bit garbled or like you know, it's yeah. not one hundred percent accurate to what it actually looks like. But they're you know, like when it comes to like GameCube and stuff like that and PS2, they're at the level now where it's almost flawless. So being able to like inject that. And then just like add like you know like some RTX lighting or oh. DLSS. Oh, I play you know, through all 4K of them again and stuff if like they that. Did that because I've, that I went be... back and tried to play them, and it might be maybe um. But there's a thing that I like too elitist because they they just look so dated now. I mean the control those games the controls and the movement in game <laughs> were always very smooth and and the combat was great. That still felt great, but just the way the game looks. Like I just need yeah. a fresh coat of paint on top of it, and then I'll be right back there. But yeah, a man same. can only dream. Mm. <laughs> um, 
is that about all you wanted to talk about that? Yeah. Or is there some other aspects? No, no, that's it. Um, just stay tuned because not the last we'll hear about it, but we'll start covering some of the coolest RTX Remix mods that we see. For sure. So. And also, thank you, NVIDIA, for um, mm-hmm. creating this. Is like this. modding mod heaven. This is... This makes me really excited to go, go on a, like a nostalgia kick through all of my old titles when they become available. 